I'm going to show you how to do a little bit of rotoscoping, mate. A little bit of rotoscoping. I reckon it's going to be um, really easy because she is really bright against the black. So there's a stark contrast between the edges, which actually means that the program's going to do most of the work for you here, man. What you want to do is uh, you want to have double clicked your footage. And then there's a little tool there, mate. A little man and a brush. That's your roto brush tool. Wicked, wicked cool. And actually, what you can do here is just just select around a man. Just select just select around the area. You know what I mean? Um, you know, tell the program what kind of space it is that you want to uh, to isolate. And what it's done is it's not selected some bits. Let's go over them again. Fill in the old blanks. Same here. But then it's got bits that I don't really want here. So you press Alt, and then you can just look at that. You tell the program. I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want that black bit. What are you doing? Program. What are you trying to do? You're trying to make me select that program. Um, which is which is which is great, mate. Look, I've just told it really where I want it. This is just kind of roughly done. And then what you do is now, if you click on freeze, it's going to go through your um, footage there, frame by frame, and try and follow those points that you've kind of told it are the edges of the image. Um, what may well happen when she's moving a lot is that suddenly a bit might flick out and then she, she might suddenly like lose some fingers because it goes in a little bit. That's when after this process, you're going to go through and just scroll through and check it to see if the program hasn't fucking thrown bits out. Um, and then all you do is using those tools, the black one where you deselect stuff and the green one where you select stuff just by holding alt, um, you know, just, just set, it, set it on course again and set it where you want it to be. But uh, it's 4K, so it's just looking through those frames right now. So uh, I'm going to speed this video up and I'll... So here we go. Uh, as you can see, um, if I want to make any changes, I can click uh, uh, freeze again. It will unfreeze, enabling me to, to redraw any lines I need or pressing Alt to get the clear button. It'll enable that as well. But I'm just going to have a quick scan through. And uh, I saw as it was rendering that it wasn't really doing anything strange. Um, so brr, 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 that's it. Yeah, if I close this, okay, she's in a black space right now because it's rotoscoped her out. Um, that's because I didn't double up my background. So if I do that and then deselect for photo, whatever. All right, here we go. How about that, mate? So cool. So cool, so simple. And just to prove that now we can put shit in front of it, uh, let's create a little solid. And then boom, mate. How about that? How about that? That's fucking sickness. Um, if there was any problem with the edges, that can be cleaned up. Um, if we go back, double click, and we go back to this panel, you'll see over here that there are generally things you can do um, from the outset. You can feather those edges slightly. Um, uh, obviously not enough to make it slightly o opaque around her, but um, it will definitely kind of have a bit of a clean up. And here on this tool, if it needs further clean up, I doubt it will be because it's you get a naturally nice roto from this. It's got a refine edge tool. What you do here is you just you literally draw all around her again. As soon as you've done that, it'll open up this tab, which is currently grayed out, and that's where you'll be able to smoothen and, and do more with the with the edge. Um, but dude, it's literally that fucking easy, man. How cool is that? Um, should have thought about this before in terms of recommending it. So let's just render that and see what happens. I know rocket tricks. I thought Williams was a better man. <laughs> Look at that, man. It's that easy. I mean, that's that's like, that's going to help with some clips. That's for sure, man. That is for sure. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, I've definitely enjoyed it too. I think it's been both educational and fun. That's the most important thing. That We've had fun today. Um, you know, 
I, I like to, that's what I like to do in my teaching. I like to, you know, I, I, can't, I don't like to play serious teach all the time. I know that you guys don't always appreciate it. You know, you don't want to come in every day, do you? You don't have to come in every day if uh, you've got a teacher who's down in the doldrums, eh? So I like to have a bit of fun sometimes. I like to have a bit of fun. Um, anyway, you, you run off now, play your ball games uh, on break, and let me know how you've been getting on a little bit later, okay? Bye.